What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I wanted to discuss something with you which I'm very passionate about and I hope that you can maybe get on board if you haven't already. So as you see from the title it is called Why I Love VR and there is a very good reason for that because there is so much endless opportunities that you have with VR. A lot has happened in the past 10 years to do with VR. I was introduced to it when Google Cardboard came out in June 2014 and it opened up a whole new world full of colour and experiences from roller coasters to standing on the moon to endless amounts of travelling around the world to look at things and that was a big step. Like, I'd never heard of it before, I didn't know what VR was, and once I'd received this piece of cardboard that I could put my phone in and be transported all over the world, I was blown away by it. A lot has happened since that day, so much time and effort has been put into making it more believable, and now we have the opportunity to grab things in VR, shoot things in VR, and so much more. But why did it become so exciting and noticed? Back in August of 2012, Oculus VR released a Kickstarter crowdfunding for the Rift. The main purpose of the Kickstarter was to get a prototype to developers to begin the integration of popular titles at the time being put onto an Oculus virtual reality state. Backers who gave the Kickstarter over £300 would be given a prototype to try and now that headset is known as the DKI, otherwise the, the development kit won by Oculus. When the Kickstarter was released, they sold the kits at a rate of 4 to 5 per minute. That's mental. Before slowing down throughout that week. After the success of the Kickstarter, on March 29th, 2013, they released the Rift DK1. Flash forward three years and the HTC Vive was on the scene. That was released as the competitor to the Oculus, which was a larger cost, but the reason the HTC was more expensive was because better graphics, less cables, more configuring and more ability than the Rift. But this isn't me saying the Vive was better because if you put the two side by side, the only advantage with the Vive is that it only requires one USB 2.0 port and a HDMI port, where with the Rift it needs two 3.0 ports and a HDMI port. Quick disclaimer, as I have not been able to get hands on the Rift, this is all based off the original releases of the Rift and the HTC Vive. Anything that's happened in the future is not accounted for in this video. The only real issue with both VR headsets is you need a pretty powerful PC to run the games released for the headset. But not a lot of people have the spare change to be going out and spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds on top of buying the VR headset for games to run on it. To tackle this issue, Oculus released the Oculus Go in 2018, which offered a wireless headset and its own inbuilt graphics card, which eliminated the problem of people not having access to it. The only drawback is the headset was only limited to the graphics the games in the headset was able to perform as, you couldn't alter them. Which the people who don't have amazing powerful PCs could enjoy it and was far more affordable at just under £200 for the 32GB model and £249 for the 64GB model. Which if you look at the prices of the headsets from release side by side, the HTC Vive is £500, the Rift is £399 and the Go is £299. So the real gain of the Go is it's cheaper. No wires and portable, but it does have its drawers, which is no access to stream VR games unless you use a software called Air Light VR, which requires a high gaming performance of your PC. So it sort of defeats the object of being able to have a wireless and cheaper headset. But now in present day, you have so much more choice in a VR headset for whatever you're looking for. Even PlayStation users have access to VR through their console, but you do have to buy the headset and the controller separately. Overall, I have to say, it's fun, whatever you pick. Everyone has their own opinion. I have been lucky enough to use a HTC Vive, an Oculus Quest, and a PSVR. So I can only recommend what I love playing. I unfortunately can't give an opinion on the Valve Index because I have never been fortunate enough to use one 
and I have only been used to HTC Vive and Oculus. So when comparing the three, I am unable to. So if you would like me to take a more in-depth video onto the Valve Index, please let me know. But playing VR is an experience you must try. It's immersive and very clever. And I can't possibly tell what the future holds for VR users. I love my Quest 2 and my HTC Vive, but my own opinion, the Quest 2 is better. That's in my opinion. It's not perfect. Yes, I would love to play all my stream VR games, but there is something about picking up your headset and taking it to a friend's house and showing them the wonders of VR without having to worry about wires and all of the setup of the Steam VR platform and drawing out a play area. It takes 10 seconds to put a headset on with the he with the Oculus Quest. You just have to configure it, which takes about 10 seconds, and you can jump into a game. And that, I would much rather prefer. See, that's the ability of the Quest, is you don't need base stations, you don't need extra hardware to make your experience amazing. All you need is a headset and the controllers. Yes, there is some drawbacks, which I will do a whole separate video on the Quest, but in my opinion, you can't go wrong with the Quest. It's immersive, it's creative, you have endless opportunities to look at games, to watch movies, to watch YouTube, you name it. But as I said, I will go into an in-depth video about the Quest 2, and if you would like me to do any of the other headsets, I'll quite happily do that. But anyway, that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope I didn't bore you to death with all my VR knowledge, but I'm passionate about it. And as someone who has only just begun to enjoy the VR experience with the headsets I've tried, I would 100% recommend it to anybody. That's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. As over 60% of you are not subscribed, how are you going to know when I post my new videos, huh? Just hit that subscribe button. It's free. And make sure to put some bell notifications on if you would like to stay up to date and be one of the first to watch my videos. Thank you so much for joining me today for another video, and I will see you very, very soon. Thank you.